This first demo, we are going to take this image and we are going to produce a 3D relief. I'm going to work from my 3D view, which I can take my colors, apply them, and I can grab these different colors, emboss them, and pull them up to make a 3D model. The way this works is I can select a color, for example the color black, and I can make that color black 3D. It's going to take anything that lies under black and emboss it with a rounded shape. So here's the result that we've given to black. The next part we're going to do are the brown of the ears. All I do is double click on the brown and I can give that color any shape I want. It can be round, it could also be triangular, or it could be flat. We can give these shapes either positive or negative attributes. You set them up wherever you want them to be. Once you're happy with the shape, you add it in. In this case, we're giving it a round shape. If I turn the color off for a moment, you'll see this in the gold relief. So this is our part so far. Now we're going to work with this rabbit, these 2D images. This was could have originally been a bitmap or a JPEG or a TIFF, so all of these file types, all these image types can be imported directly into ArtCam. You can also paint directly in ArtCam. The other type of 2D artwork that you can use is line work or vectors. Again, you can draw all this in ArtCam or you can import it from an external program. You could import DXF, DWG, EPS, AI files, as well as you can import full 3D models. We can import STL, IGES, STEP, 3DM, among many others. So with this one, we're going to add in a little more detail here. We're going to work with the back part of the ear, and we're going to blend this in with what's already there. Next, we're going to look a little more at some of the facial detail. We're going to start with the pink for the mouth. We're going to take this and we're going to scoop it in negative. Next, we're going to use the green on the muzzle, and we're going to add in a positive round shape. And for the eyes, again, we're going to add in a positive round shape. Next, we have the inside of the ears, which we're going to scoop in. So here's where we are so far on our rabbit. If we turn our colors off, again, you can see better with the gold relief what we've created. And let's continue modeling. Next, we're going to add in some facial detail. So here we have the blue for the nose. At any point, you can alter any of these values. You can do whatever you want with these. And we also have the lighter blue for our teeth. The last bit will include the tongue down at the bottom. and the red for the eyes. You can see how easily I'm just quickly selecting this color. It opens up our shape editor box where I can give it round, triangular, flat shapes and simply add them on. Now this is ArtCam's most base form of making a 3D relief. ArtCam does contain many other options which allow you to do extrudes and sweeps uh, for different types of shapes. This is just the easiest way, the most basic way to make your 3D piece. Now we also have a lot of editing tools once you've created the relief. We have smoothing tools, texture tools, scaling tools, distortion tools, where you can actually push and pull your model. In this case, I'm going to use the smoothing tool. The smoothing tool is going to allow me to smooth this whole relief. It will break off my sharp edges and smooth out any pulls from the color. Let's take a look at the gold piece so far. 
So here's our cartoon rabbit. At this point, if I was happy with this design, I could send this out to the machine. I could do my toolpaths and send this out to be machined on a CNC. Now in this case, we're going to add a little more detail to the rabbit. We're going to take his body and we're going to add fur to the background of the body. And we're going to actually do this from an image. So let's take a look at the areas we want to add fur to. On this picture, everything that's black is what we're going to add the texture onto. And I'm going to use ArtCam's automatic texturing tool. With the texturing tool, we can add in standard textures such as spheres, so you could do little dots, ellipses, cones, even a basket weave. You can take any one of these textures and apply it to a specific surface on your model. For the rabbit, what we're going to use is a special file. And it's not even necessarily a special file, it's just an image from the internet. We'll show you what this image looks like. So this here is an image of rabbit's fur. It's just a regular picture, it's a GIF file. These images could be JPEGs, bitmap, TIFF, GIF, any, one, any image like that. And with that we can use the texture tool and make it into a 3D texture. So we're going to take this image, we're going to click open, and what it'll do is look at the different colors in the image and it'll produce an actual 3D textured relief for me. Now you can get these images from the internet, you can download them for free, you can take images with your digital camera, things like rocks, pebbles, brick, um, the grass outside, carpet, all of these will give you 3D textures. What, what I'm going to do with this specific texture is I'm actually going to condense it, I'm going to shrink it down making it a smaller fur. And I'm also going to make it a little thinner. I'm going to go ahead and add it and it's going to add everything that's black. So here you can kind of see on the color, we've added a texture to it. If I turn the color off, you can really see now the texture applied to the rabbit. Now the next step I might want to do is smooth out the inside of the ears. See we have some pulls here from using colors. If I turn my color back on, and I'm going to work with that pink that's the inside of the ear, I'm going to go ahead and use my sculpting tools and the sculpting tools with this same color pink, this bright pink you're looking at right here, I can smooth just that specific area. Now my sculpting tools allow me to work with my model as if it were wood or clay or something physical right in front of me. In the case of smoothing, think of smoothing as sandpaper. And what I can do with my smoothing tool is I can come in and I can smooth inside the ears without altering anything else. So let's go ahead and zoom into the ear area. And now you see that dark circle around my cursor? That's my sculpting area. As I hold my mouse down and just move my cursor back and forth over this area, it smooths it out for me. Now some of the other sculpting tools that we have, there is a smudge tool, there's a tool that will allow you to add material, there's a carving tool, there's stamping and cloning, very similar to Photoshop. One of the nice ones, which we'll see a little later, is the sculpting or the uh, smudge tool. The smudge tool actually allows you to work with your part as if it were clay and it allows you to push and pull the 3D model. They're very interactive and very easy to use. Once we smooth this out, let's go ahead and turn our sculpting off and our colors, and you can see the difference in the ear. So here we've made our 3D cartoon rabbit. At this point, he would be ready for machining. So we would set up our toolpaths, and then we would send those toolpaths to the CNC router. And this, this rabbit could be any size. It could be from something that's a couple inches all the way up to 10, 20, 30 feet tall.